Dude, there's so many. One, two, three, four. But it's here. It arrived. So here we go. Let's do it. I got this one right here. Bag is secured. There's a lot of stuff for this. What? Dude, it gets so deep. What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here today. You saw by the title and thumbnail, we are here at Koi Smart picking up our water fountain. I really don't know the exact name for this thing, but it's here. It arrived. Mask required. I got my PC mask on. Do you got yours? If not, there's like a hundred left. Top link in the description. Thanks, truck. Appreciate it. They're free, by the way. So here we go. Let's do it. I got this one right here. This. It's got LED color changing lights. It's gonna be spraying the water. They got big aerating system. This is an aerator. Think about having that in my house. Imagine, you drop this down, massive aerator. And this is like stones that go at the bottom. Yeah, that's literally a stone. Yeah, I mean, any anything you could think of pond-wise, I tell you what, it's, is it here? It's here. It <laughs> big old lights, that'd be kind of cool to do, like, la. That's the lily pad palette things. Oh, cool. Look at the size of this thing. We've got it. Three different modes, so that's one mode. Oh, it tells you all the information, too. That's another one, and that's another one. I think I'm in the Spanish side, though. Now, you know, the other day, we actually were in the backyard, Carlos and I. We set up all the electric stuff, so we have everything ran out there already. We just need to literally just plug this thing in. Out back now, as you can see, got koi fish. I mean, everywhere. Koi fish, koi fish, koi fish. I mean, it's called Koi Smart for a reason, you know what I mean? They, they sell a lot of koi fish. Look at how beautiful these ponds are, though. I mean, you literally can just take a walk around. Look at this. That landscape, though. And this is all like a work in progress, but I mean, they got live plants out here. That's where I got all my lily pads and stuff for the turtle pond, more plants. Beautiful landscape. And here we got you know what I love so much is everything's super neat. Like I'm heck of, I'm like I'm like OCD to the max, so when everything's nice and neat, it's awesome. Where are the pedicure fish? So if you have like a hundred of these, you put your hand in and they're just goldfish are clean all the tanks are. Oh, uh, we're gonna feed them. I feel like koi fish are always hungry, am I right? Wait, these guys are starving. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> the sound they make. It's like popping lips. And there's some big ones in here. And some big old ones. They have got literally everything you can think of. Look at all the pumps. And this pond too. Like just look, you can walk over it. Look. Right there. Fish. This place is awesome. We got it boys and girls. We got it. My feet. My feet are on fire. Ay! Bag is secured. Let's head home. All right, this is probably the last day these fish are gonna be in here. Uh, tomorrow, I believe at least, I hope so, the filter will arrive for the big pond and we'll get all these fish out of here and into there. But I'm just gonna pour a bunch of these shrimp right here into the water. Watch this, come here, Logan. <laughs> they just go crazy. And that's it. Stirred up. You're done. Can't even see anything. That's why we're transferring them. <laughs> Turtles are fighting each other. Flash, and that's how my ice beat. <laughs> Do you hear him crunch it? <laughs> what is going on? No, one broken egg. Look at it, there's two eggs right here. Oh, there's a spider on it. No, thank you. I bet you since they laid those, there's gonna be more eggs. Since there's two over there, there's gonna be more. There's another one. Is it okay? That's the question. It's okay. But it's probably like overheated to the max. <gasps> I bet you there's more. I bet you there's not. I'll put five dollars in Five bucks is on the line, boys and girls. Who's gonna win the money? Oh, looks like I just won some money because there's some more eggs over here. Dude, there's so many! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I actually just put that one down. So seven over here. Dude, what the heck? Oh, there's another one right here. Wow, bro, they are producing right now, huh? This nine eggs. 77 Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Logan is gonna do the justice of opening this beautiful specimen right here. We just, wrong side, Logan. There we go. 
Fellas, you've been waiting on this sucker for a minute. The pond fountain is here. This is the rope that ties it to the bottom of the pond, which is a lot more than we'll need because the pond is not 75 feet deep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about oh, right there. Yes, the extension cord is covered so that fish can't chew through. Heck yeah, I was gonna actually be able to do it myself if it wasn't, but it is. We're gonna keep this box. Ah, we lost more fish, dude. No. Yeah, look, there's one bass right here and another bass over there. Oxygen. It's coming, man, I'm telling you. Bro, we have to, we should put this in today. No, we're putting it in today. Oh, we are? Yeah, Carlos is coming. We're gonna do the rest of the electricity we need to do. And we're gonna get this sucker flowing today because this can't happen. See this stuff? Tilapia breathe air. The tilapia could literally breathe air so it never happens, but my bass, which we put like what, seven or eight? Yeah, Eight of them, more. and I've seen four already floating. So that's one, two today, and I lost two other bass last week. So this fountain right here, we're not gonna lose any, because that's what they're lacking is the oxygen in the water. It's so hot outside, it pulls that oxygen out of the water. Fish can't breathe without oxygen. Similar to humans. I love unboxing stuff, especially on the channel. Oh yeah, that's just so satisfying. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. Oh, it's the pump. That's the pump right there, baby. We should just open it from this side, my friend. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. Look, wires to the box. All right. That's what I'm talking about, my friend. It is here, fellas. The fountain is here and we're about to get this thing flowing by the end of this video you will see a running fountain oh. just waiting for it to grow i know guys it's gonna be cut this is what runs the leds there's a lot of stuff for this all right i'm gonna set the camera up right there and uh me and logan are kind of trying to figure out how to set all this up the tether if I'm not mistaken this will go down to the bottom of the pond I'm sure they'll rope you in the comments if you're wrong get it <laughs> that's a good one that's, <laughs> that's a good one that's good. nice as long as I'm not going in there that cesspool dead fish and birds all over there <laughs> it's disgusting dude do not want to go in this water Brenton jumps in here like it's nothing. Let's do a little walk, yeah? I think that sounds good, man. This fountain is gonna be so dope. It's gonna be all worth it, Paul. Wait, wait, I need a rock. Film your experience. All right. I won't let you down, Paul. Yes, perfect. Yes. That will do. <laughs> <laughs> A couple layers of bird poop. Dude, that's disgusting. Snapping turtles in here. Soft shell turtles in here. All sorts of creatures. Oh my god. Listen, I've always learned one thing. Just don't put your head under. That doesn't matter. Dude, it's freaking getting deep real quick. Oh my, oh my lord. It's cold down here, dude. What? Dude, it gets so deep. It's so deep. Oh my god. Hey, back off, Gary. Yeah, back off. We did it, fellas. I know. All the lights are a little off. The lights are a little off. I never appreciate anything I do for me, I swear. Yep, I know. Yep. Oh, this just jumped right behind you. About two feet down, it's like hot. You know, like surface water hot. You go below that two feet, it's like ice cold water. Kind of crazy. I could not resist but film. Look how beautiful it is out right now. It looks even better in person too. It is crazy. Um, Carlos is out here doing his thing. We are gonna run all the electricity out to here so we can finally plug that thing in. What? Gary? Oh, hey, hey. Oh, that is so sick. That's what I'm talking about, Ducky. What up, everyone? That, okay, that is cool. Like that is, that's cool. Look how high it goes. Oh my God. That is sweet.
Oh my gosh, whoa, it looks so tiny when I do that. I cannot wait to see that thing during the day. Carlos, thank you, my brother. It is the following morning. We are outside by the pool pond, as you can see. Everything's going great for all these ponds. We're getting fish for that. We are getting fish for our turtle pond soon. Make sure you drop a comment down below letting me know what kind of fish you think I should get for those. Like mollies, platies, that kind of thing. I saw a comment last video that did say mollies and platies and it has a lot of likes on it, so I'm considering that's what I'm probably gonna do. Hello everyone. Hi, you're all eating. That's what I'm about to show you. Before that though, I, I gotta show you all the animals. I gotta give you an update. Let's go in here. We haven't been in here in a while. I just fed them all. Bubba, we got Bubba, there's Lulu, and all their babies are about the size of them now. They ain't so baby anymore, right, Baloo? Talk about no little no more. Look at the size of Buttercup. Buttercup is massive. And not only Buttercup, we got Buttercup right here and Rosie. Rosie right here. Lady May is enjoying a nice meal. Mango's over there enjoying his breakfast. He don't like people though. Mommy, come on, mommy. <laughs> What's up, mama? You are massive, you got bigger last night. Not really too much of a duckling anymore. Everything's growing out here, but we rescued this little fella. And uh, it's a Muscovy duck, so. Hey, hey, get out of there. Daisy, you know right when I opened this to run in there, huh, didn't you? Hey, come on, hey, hey. There you go. They listen better than dogs, I promise. Mommy. Hey, you want some mealworms? Well, that's good, because I got them. Here, Mom. Daisy, get out of here. Eat up. Eat, oh, go, okay, put your whole head in there, yep. Sounds good to me. Daisy, what are you doing? Go eat your pellets. All right, so Mumble's going at it. I put some mealworms over here as well. That's for the chickens, they're going at it. And Daisy, for some odd reason, like mealworms, I... Concerns me. I guess she is just a pig, and they eat everything. It's time though, it's time. Gary, please, come on, I'm trying to film. I know, you're gonna put your head right through. I know how you are. I already fed you guys, but here's another one. That'll keep them quiet for a little bit while I film. Let's head on in to check it out. Oh my God. I've seen it briefly this morning as I fed the animals, but I mean, the sound. So you have the sound, which is amazing. I love the sound of that kind of stuff. Anything, waterfalls, water fountains. It's the perfect size, as you can see. I mean, look at that. One strand goes way up. Look how high that goes. But yeah, it's the perfect size. It actually pushes all the debris that's on the surface of the water to the edges as well. Have you noticed that? Which I didn't even think of that. We shall have no more fish fatalities due to oxygen. The water should stay actually a lot cooler as well. And if we do get breeze, it will mist the animals on the backside. If the breeze is coming from this way, you know what I'm saying? You ever been like standing on the side of a pond and the breeze like brings more? It's doing it to me right now. Which is just awesome. And you saw the footage at night. It looks beautiful out here. Big shout out to Koi Smart for uh, hooking it up. I'm glad I didn't get the smaller one. He hooked me up big time on this sucker because these are very expensive. So shout out to Koi Smart if you guys are ever local here in South Florida. The address is down below and you can check out the shop there. I know, I told you I'd fix it. Thank you, thank you. That might be the first time I've ever had Gary appreciate something I've done for him. Thanks, bud. Caferos, bottom line is, I mean, come on, that is beautiful. It's the perfect size, not too big, not too like obnoxious, not too loud. I barely had the shotgun mic on this entire video because it broke actually midway through, I had to fix it up. So now the audio should be better. Duckies look happy. They weren't going in the water at first, they were a little scared, but now, as you can see, they're doing good. We have our consistent water flow right here coming out of this pipe, you'll see it bubble in just a sec. There it is, bubbling. We have that fresh water coming in. We have a beautiful fountain now, and uh, now we're ready to get some fish. Maybe we'll have to go do some fishing and bring some fish back like we did before. Hmm. What should we go fishing for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on stuff like this at the farm. We have a lot of stuff to do. That whole side of the yard isn't even touched yet. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Paul Caffaro. I love you all so much. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Wow. Think a door's open, but it's not.